everyone. The first audition is in the books for the Lethbridge Hurricane hopefuls. The Canes were in Tabor last night to take on the Calgary Hitmen in their preseason debut. Mike Williamson's crew in their third game already of the preseason. Let's get to the action now. It's the Canes that got on the board first in this one. Five minutes in, Colton Olenek with a quick backhander beating Max Shields. It's 1-0 Lethbridge. Moments later, Olenek is hauled down on a partial breakaway. The ref awarded him a penalty shot, so the 16-year-old goes one-on-one -on -one with Shields again. This time, he cannot beat him. It's all Hitman from there on in. Joel Topping with a horrible giveaway right in front for Pavlo Patikin. He scored on Tanner Kovacs, and it's 1-1. Still in the first Hitman power play. Puck gets down low for Alex Gogolev. He found a wide open Brady Brassard for the tap in. Nice play. It's 2 to 1 Calgary. Second period, Hitman power play again. Gogolev dropped it back to Brooks Masick, and his low shot got past Chris Ty, and the Hitman extend their lead to 3 to 1. We'll show you one more goal. Gogolev left it for Joe Cornelson, who got it back to Gogolev. He lifted it over. Ty, what a game for Gogolev. The Russian had two goals and three assists. The final was 6 to 1 Calgary from Tabor last night. The Hitmen are now 3 and 0 in preseason play. Just couldn't score. Their goalie played real well. We put a lot of shots into him, but no, we didn't have enough traffic. I mean, he was on, but you got to get more. You can't let him see a lot of shots. So our D did a good job of getting pucks through. Sure, I thought I played well out there. Uh, getting that first one off my back really helps me out a lot. And uh, just move forward from here. I thought we played well as a team. And I think just moving forward, that was our first game, and that was their third or whatever. So I think we'll get them in the future for sure. We had a stretch in the second period. We kind of let them get away with a lot of odd man rushes. We weren't playing as good as we should have been defensively. Uh, definitely. We get the guys uh, played hard and we stuck up for each other, which is huge in an exhibition. And, uh, you know, we showed if a team wants to run and gun with us, you know, we can stand up for ourselves and play a good game and uh, even come out with a win there. And on, I thought Lethbridge came very hard at the start of the hockey game and uh, we didn't have a lot of pushback and, and answer until the game wore on. Second period, we started to um, to hit back a little bit and, and get some pucks in behind them and scored some goals. So as the game went on, I thought we were a lot better. And by the way, the Kootenai Ice play their first preseason contest tonight in the Tri-Cities. It wasn't a podium finish, but it was still a new America's record for Zach McAllister in the pool today at the Paralympics in London. He had a time of 1 minute, 2.88 seconds and finished 10th overall in the 100-meter S8 event. Last week, Zach set an America's record in the 400-meter freestyle. The Calgary Stampeders will be looking to make it three wins in a row when they take on the Eskimos Friday night. A key contributor in Monday's 31-30 victory was rookie, uh, rookie running back Matt Walter. The former University of Calgary standout scored his first CFL touchdown on an 11-yard scamper in the third quarter. And Walter is pleased with his progression so far during his initial season. It's great being able to feel you know, that I contributed to the game and uh, was able to get that touchdown out of the way. So that's nice too. So uh, you know, just uh, going to keep improving from here. And and hopefully get some more carries in the future. Well, let's talk about that because uh, you're used to carrying the ball all the time yeah. and, and going uh, from uh, a, a different role from university to pro. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've really been settling in my special teams role, uh, really enjoying it. Uh, I think I've been succeeding there. So it's also nice to start getting, getting a little more touches on the ball, but uh, that comes with time. And, uh, you know, it's up to the coaches when, uh, when I'm going to really be getting it more. So it's up to them to decide when that time is. Stamps and Eskimos tomorrow at 7 o'clock up in Edmonton. The National Football League season began last night in New York with the Giants hosting the Cowboys. Dallas took the lead with a touchdown pass by Tony Romo to Kevin Ogletree. It was 7-3 at the half. Opening drive of the second half saw the same duo combined for another major score. Romo to Ogletree, a 40-yard touchdown, and it's 14-3 Big D. Then the Giants responded with a touchdown of their own on their first possession of the second half. Ahmad Bradshaw capped off an 89-yard drive. New York trailed 14-10, though. But Dallas put the game away here in the fourth quarter on first and 30, no less. Romo got the ball into the hands of Austin Miles. He scored. That made it 24-10. The Cowboys opened the season with a win in New York over the defending Super Bowl champs. 24-17 was the final score. Jackie? Okay, well, coming up next, a couple of things. We're going to let you in on a okay. little secret that okay. we've got here at sure. CTV News. Sure. And also, we're going to show you some video oh. that is going absolutely viral. Look at that.